The report from Federal Housing and Urban Development says homelessness has dropped 12% statewide over the last year based on homeless count data compiled last January. But three homeless agencies we contacted say they're not sure that number is right. The demand that we see for homeless services certainly hasn't decreased. Brett Johnson with the Sioux Empire Homeless Coalition tells me while the annual homeless count in January is well intentioned, it does not tell a full and complete story. We're well aware that the individuals that we're looking for aren't necessarily outside or unsheltered. Johnson says many of the area's homeless are living in cars or perhaps living with friends and because the count is done in January may not be readily available to be counted because they're seeking shelter from the cold somewhere other than a traditional homeless shelter. What I see on a daily basis is there's a continued need and this is a continued social issue. Tracy Jensen is the homeless liaison for the Sioux Falls School District and she says there is a continued problem in the district with kids who have no place to call home. Right now, the Sioux Falls School District says it has identified 705 of its students that it terms homeless. And if recent trends from recent years hold true, that list will add another 300 names by the end of the year. And it is a problem that's not diminishing. We do see the number of youth um, over the last couple years have, has increased. Also seen an increase, the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House. Probably going to be on pace to serve around 1,600 unique men and women at our facility this year in Sioux Falls. Executive Director Chad Campbell says that would be a record for the three years the house has been in operation, up from the more than 1,400 people they helped just last year.